Hey everyone, it's Candace. So today I'm just gonna kinda go piggyback off of a short that I posted a couple of days ago and I will insert that here so that you can see it and just kinda know the gist of what's gonna be, what I'm gonna be talking about today. Mental health awareness should not have to be specified between mental health awareness and men's mental health. The fact that people think that it is okay to tell a boy or a man to suck it up buttercup is disgusting. Nobody should ever, regardless of gender, sex, anything, should ever be told that their feelings and their mental health does not matter. And it is disgusting that anybody would even have to say that out loud. Okay, so obviously this is a topic that I'm passionate about because I don't really get super angry <laughs> or upset about too many things. Um, but this is a topic I am very passionate about and mental health just, I think in general, is a topic that I'm passionate about and I don't think that it is handled the way that it should be in the public. And obviously I've made a video about stigma before. Um, if you haven't watched it, then I will post a link down in the description. So you should go and watch that. I honestly just don't understand why the stigma is there. And specifically speaking about the topic today, I don't understand why there is that huge difference between mental health and men, men's mental health. I just don't see why there has to be a men's in front of it. And I'm not saying that men don't deserve mental health awareness. They do. But it shouldn't have to be divided because unfortunately, even now, it's, yeah, the genders are equal, whatever. I don't mean that like whatever. <laughs> but um, I mean, yeah, we're more equal than we ever have been in history. And yet, it still doesn't seem to be okay for a man to say, hey, I am depressed. Hey, I'm having some, I can't say the, that word, um, some unaliving thoughts about myself. Um, it is considered weak. It is considered unmasculine. But the topic of men's mental health awareness is something that it infuriates me because from a very young age, men are told, suck it up. Specifically, suck it up buttercup. And that just pisses me off. If no child, no matter who they are, what age they are, no matter what gender, nothing, they should never be told to suck up their feelings and just, just hide them. Feelings are meant to be felt. All emotions are valid, whether you believe so or not. You don't think the child should be feeling sad? Doesn't matter. They're not your feelings. They're that chi the child is feeling those feelings and you're telling them that it doesn't matter. That they should just suck it up and just get on with life because that's how it is. And how good of a message is that? You're basically teaching your children from a young age that they don't matter. What they say doesn't matter. What they feel doesn't matter. They just don't matter in this world. And I think that is very sad. And men especially. They are taught to bury their feelings. That it is not manly to have feelings. And that if they cry or if they admit to being depressed or having anxiety or anything, it makes them weak or sensitive. Nobody should ever be called weak for having mental health issues, no matter what they are. And that's the fact that there are so many unaliving episodes within the entire world, really. But especially within the military community, and that's something I can speak personally about because whenever I was in the military and I had 
I had been having like some really bad thoughts and the, my depression was just like very down deep and it was anxiety was just at an all-time high and I remember I told my squad leader I said sorry I'm going to mental health in the morning so I will not be there for morning PT um so I just told him that I wasn't going to be there in the morning but I told him where I was going to be and he said no you're going to be information because you don't need behavioral health that's not really your decision to make <laughs> and I said I'm not asking to go I'm telling you where I will be in the morning and I went but I'm here to tell you speak up if somebody tells you to suck it up buttercup tell them you know what go to hell don't ever say that to anybody else again speak up to the people who think it's okay that saying stuff like that is okay it's not okay it should never have been okay an illness is an illness it's okay to take medication i take a lot more than most people <laughs> and i'm fine telling people what medications i take especially for my mental health because it is health that is my health i don't feel ashamed and nobody should have to. Nobody but should feel ashamed to tell people that they're in therapy or they're in support groups. If you even have just thoughts that are unhealthy, talk to a doctor. Talk to a doctor. If you broke your leg, I bet you'd go to the doctor. Why not whenever you're thinking about doing something even worse than that to yourself? Because there's a stigma that society has put out. I'm sorry that society has done this to you. Where a majority of you don't think that your feelings should even exist that your feelings don't matter because they do they do matter and they are important you are important get help speak up if you don't have mental health issues speak up for those those that do don't tell them to just suck it up don't tell them they'll go away don't tell them to just deal with it. That's the most dangerous thing you can do. It's the most dangerous thing that you can tell yourself is to just suck it up. That you just need to deal with it like a man. Don't do that. Speak up. Never allow someone to tell you or someone you love that your feelings don't matter, that their feelings don't matter, that they should just deal with it, just suck it up. Don't allow it. I don't care who it is. Even if you're all about respecting your elders, I respect that because I try to do that as well. But when they try to hammer that old fashioned bullshit in, about how men should be men and they shouldn't that's not manly speak up tell them that's not okay and you need to stop telling people that yeah they're allowed to have their opinions but their opinions are quite literally killing people when someone's opinion affects other people's lives they should be told that generations teach generations and that's just how it goes so it's no generation's fault that this stuff is happening because they're just teaching what they were taught and this is something that needs to be undone but speaking up about mental health 
specifically men's mental health needs to be in the forefront. It needs to be spoken about. The stigma needs to go away. Men shouldn't have to be afraid to say anything. They shouldn't be told by their families and their friends and their coworkers and their bosses that their feelings don't matter. And if you're a man and you ever told somebody to suck it up, telling people that their feelings don't matter affects them more than you know. Please remember this whenever your child is upset, whenever your child or somebody you love is crying. Figure out what is happening. Don't tell them that they shouldn't be having these feelings. Every emotion is valid. And isn't that a good thing? A world where people actually care about other people? I'd say so. <laughs> okay, so I probably will not post my normal video tomorrow because I have been behind. I have not been feeling well. I haven't been sick. I've just been mentally unwell. Um, and my sleep has just been too much yet non-existent at the same time. <laughs> and that doesn't make sense. Except to the people it does make sense to. Um, but next video, I think, I don't know. I might do something kind of different. Um, tell me how you feel about conspiracy theories. <laughs> because I am a conspiracy theorist and I would love to be able to talk about it. <laughs> make sure to subscribe and I will see you all in the next one, hopefully. So, bye.